All right, YouTube. Hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber. Hey, let's check out this project right here. 50 by 60, 16 feet tall. And you can see we brought in some 411 stone here to, to help out with the backfill and so forth on this site. But you can see the rock that was utilized. But in this video, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics, not the mechanics, but actually the lumber utilized on this and how we're setting this up, okay? Again, 411 stone right here. As you can see, a sandy highway berm mix that we use to backfill the post holes. And you can see the owner in my previous video, if you've been following along here, if you've been following along here, um, he utilized this rock right here, a heavier rock and so forth. So we had a little issues as far as, as the stone. So we're gonna, you see, we've got some tonnage here and then we're gonna utilize, we already utilized that to backfill the post right here. So let's talk a little bit about actually, we use a two by 10 ground contact treated baseboard, as you can see right here. If you've been following along, some of the times we use a two by eight tongue groove, depending if we need to get the site up, right? But this is actually a farm application. You can see the site pad, you know, there's always some undulation, but this was fairly level. So not on a slope or anything like that, but actually it's a two by 10. And the treatment on that is 0.60. All right, so a two by 10 baseboard. And again, that's ground contact. And I've talked about this before here and I'll share with you again, but you can see right here, we use a 1650 as far as the wall girts right here. This is a two by four. In some of these videos, you've probably seen we use a two by six space 30 inches apart. And sometimes we use a two by four, depending on zoning restrictions or zoning codes and regulations. But you can see we're using actually a 1650 species of lumber here. I know it's upside down, but I think you get the picture there. Versus a two grade, again, 1650 lumber. Again, Mike's out at 1650, a two grade, 1,150. So again, your, your tensile strength about 500, 550 points stronger than that. And I also wanna share with you what we do here as well. Now there's different ways to do that as far as you can see how we space this out under the walk-in door here. We're using a two by six treated board there. Sometimes we'll use a four by six, six by six. It just depends on what lumber we have available but right here again if you didn't have that imagine walking through there boom maybe falling so that's why we utilize a two by six right there and again a three ply laminated column actually you see right here my bad three ply but on the on the overhead door right here you can see what we utilize actually this is a four ply laminated column again glued laminated finger joined together southern yellow pine and right here you can see a three ply laminated column as well all right so pressure points right here boom boom so three pressure points all right but really the the strength on this versus a treated species of lumber six by six or four by six compared to six by six is 30 percent stronger all right and the reason why is artificially you can see how it's spliced together so it's going to maintain its true form whereas a six by six you know just given that it's a natural piece of lumber it, it has the tendency to possibly well, it does, it's lumber, possibly twist or turn. So we like to use, uh, depending on the building, the size, but a 50 width right here, we chose a three ply laminated column and right here on the openings here, a four ply laminated column. So it kind of gives you an idea here. And again, a two by 12 yellow pine. I've talked about this before, but depending on your location, where you're at located in the, in the world, I know some of you followers from Norway and Canada and all that, but we use actually a yellow pine for a double top beam header there. And I've talked about this before, but sometimes, you know, we've gotten um, other species of lumber in there. And really our market, we get our yellow pine from down there, down south, Alabama, so forth, and it comes up obviously to Ohio. But we use a two by 12 double top beam header there. And depending on where you're at, you can use like a Douglas fir, that's a hard piece of lumber. But again, we've had Douglas fir before and that works. But I've seen it before, it wanes, it cracks, it twists. The yellow pine just seems like it's a little bit um, stronger. But again, it's all relative, depending on your geographic location. So again, we're framing this up right here. 50 by 60, 16 feet tall, and I'll keep you posted on this. But all comments, obviously, are always welcome. You can see the 50 foot trusses right there as well. And I don't have the truss specs made, but I believe, let's see here, let's take a look here. But you can see here two by six bottom and then also a two by six top cord application on this. All right, so kind of gives you an idea there what's going on here. So comments always welcome. Till next week, keep it locked, keep it loaded. Attic Lumber at atticlumber.com.